Hi, this is Brittany with Devise and Conquer Coaching, and I'm here today to talk to you about deleting apps to speed up your phone. When you have a lot of apps on your phone, your phone is periodically checking in with each one to see if it needs to do anything. For example, did you get a new message in WhatsApp? It has to actually go in there and see if there's a message. It's how you get your notifications, it's how they'll update information in the background. So therefore, the fewer you have, the less your phone is having to check in with. It's fine if you want to use all of those apps, but I'm guessing if you're like most people, there are a few apps on your phone that you don't actually need. The most obvious way to do this is to just scroll through them and see what you see, usually starting on the second page because by default, your phone or your iPad is going to install new apps to that second page. It'll go into the third or fourth if your pages have completely filled up with apps though. So starting there might be a place to see something that has been installed and that you haven't put in a special place yet. It's just in there in the order that they were installed. If you do see one that you go, wait, why did I install that? It's easy to delete. Just tap and hold. You're gonna look for this thing that says rearrange apps and then hit the X to delete it. I don't actually wanna delete Amazon Prime, so I'm not gonna do it right now. You can swipe through as many of these as you want to, but I recommend trying something else. Part of the problem with just swiping through is this is the order you've been seeing the apps in every day. It's so easy for something you maybe don't really need to just fade into the background. If you want a fresh perspective, it's a good idea to see the apps in a different order than you're used to. That way you aren't sort of blinded by what you see every day. So you're gonna go into your settings app to do this under general, and then iPhone storage, or iPad in this case. You're gonna wait a minute. It will take less time if you don't have a million apps installed, but I'm usually testing a bunch of things, so I have a lot of apps. When you scroll through them, you'll see them in a totally different order than you normally see them. It's going to be the order of the size that they're taking up on your device. My top two, well, top three ones are all related to videos, so that's not too surprising, but I am still using them, so I'm not gonna delete them. Just seeing them in this different order, you may go, oh, Wait, why do I have that? And what you'll do in that case is you'll tap on it and then hit this button that says delete app. Are you sure? It'll delete all of its contents. And if not, hit cancel and go back. Offloading the app is the option if you just want it to take up less space, but to still have access to all of the data inside of it. It will still appear on your screen and have that part of distraction, but it won't be in your face or taking up as much space. Now you'll also see on here these things that say last used. They're sometimes accurate. <laughs> Part of the problem is it'll occasionally say never used. It might just be that you've never used it since you installed an update. I know for sure on mine, there are a bunch that say that I've never used them that I have definitely used. Take that for what it's worth, but it probably means you haven't used it at least since a major update. And so when you see that, you could realize, oh, I don't really need that one. You can actually get another fresh perspective on your apps by going to the app store on iOS 13. You tap on your profile and scroll down. And when you scroll down, you're gonna see a list of app updates. These include recently updated as well as ones that you still need to update. You can see them in a fresh order. It's a different one. And you might notice something you didn't notice before. From this view, you can swipe across and hit delete and it's done. It's happened before where folks, including me, have seen an update, wondered why do I have that installed, but never got around to actually opening up the right folder and deleting the app. Now you can do it straight from here. That's all, thank you so much for joining me on deleting apps to speed up your device and make it more intense. See you next time, bye. <laughs>
Well, don't delete the app that speaks bocce.